I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but today I'm gonna spin a wheel to decide what to build in The Sims. Look at this, I made a wheel of all of the worlds in The Sims 4. I knew we had a lot of worlds in this game, but seeing it in this wheel format is still kind of shocking to me. So the plan here obviously is to spin the wheel to decide where we're gonna end up building. I put all of them, including the vacation worlds, so I don't really know what'll happen if we end up spinning Batu, but I guess we'll just hope for the best. Okay, I'm more you now, once this wheel starts spinning, it's kind of hard to look at, so maybe avert your eyes, but I'm gonna spin, and the world that we are going to be building in will be... I actually feel kind of nervous. Oh no. No! <laughs> Del Sol Valley! That's my least favorite world in the whole of The Sims 4. <sighs> okay, I guess that's what I get for spinning a wheel. <laughs> we had this one coming. Well, I was hoping to do a starter home with this, so the other wheel that I made was for how many bedrooms to include. This is kind of weird, because because there are duplicates on here. I did that because I wanted to have a slightly greater chance of getting two bedrooms than like four bedrooms, for example. So four bedroom is only on there once, but two bedrooms on there three times, if that makes sense. But I'm gonna spin this wheel and see how big the house is gonna have to be. I am kind of crossing my fingers that it's not too big and it's gonna have to be three bedrooms. Okay, that's kind of big. <laughs> so we're doing a three bedroom starter home in Del Sol Valley. I hate Del Sol. Soul Valley, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. There is something about this world that just fills me with rage. I think it's because of this thing. And all of the lots are so big. Like this one is 50 by 40. What are you supposed to do with a 50 by 40 lot in a starter home neighborhood? And this lot, don't even get me started on this. I'm gonna complain for a second. The front of the lot does not touch the sidewalk. It has this ridiculous gap. I am so mad at them for this. At least it touches this like back alley, but they have a sidewalk and this is the front. When you load into the lot when you put it on the gallery, this is the front and it doesn't even touch the street. Why put a fake street if you're not gonna have the lot touch the street? When they do this, and it happens kind of often, this is one of the most unbelievably agitating things the Sims team ever does in a world. So I never build there, which kind of just leaves us with the one across the street to build on, which also is really not all that interesting. So we'll see what we can do with this place. I might end up putting my house in like the front corner and then pretending that the rest of this doesn't belong to me or something just to make make it seem like it makes more sense. I may actually use Vanessa as a test sim though. I'm sorry to evict you. Oh, now I've lost her. The other thing is that when they give you these lots in quite dense neighborhoods, I feel like stylistically it kind of sticks you with something that looks like this because you want it to match the area. But I will say this little playground space is kind of cool and I love how the rest of the environment looks. It's just the actual lots that we got that are kind of the problem. If they had done like five tiny lots close together, that would make way more sense based on how these houses are. But instead, we got big ginormous mess. So <laughs> welcome to Del Sol Valley, my least favorite world. I'm actually gonna build the house backwards too, I think, because the lighting is a little bit better back here. I'll flip it around at the end, but just don't panic when I start building from this side, okay? Oh, you know what? It might be kind of cool if we had a garage back there or something, because that would be an interesting way of making use of a lot of this big space. Kind of like how all these houses have garages in the alleyway, we could put a little garage back here too. I don't know if we can afford to have a garage and a three bedroom house though, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, just imagine something like this for a second though, where we have a long driveway. We can put that all the way out to the back if we really wanted to. And then we can kind of stick the garage like right there and have a fence in between the space. I also think the house needs to be kind of long and skinny, especially if we want to have that many bedrooms. There is one door in particular that I just have to use. It's this snowy escape door. It's only 135. Okay, that's fine. But it, it looks like a garage door to me. So I thought we could put that there on this building so that it can still open like a garage. And then you can use it for like laundry or skill building or whatever it is your Sims need. I'm trying to think logically about this floor plan issue. I think that I maybe made the house like a little bit too big. I think that sometimes it's better if it's like a little on the smaller side, but this is kind of what I'm thinking right now as far as the floor plan goes. So we have three bedrooms, one bathroom, kind of like a long hallway, and then this becomes the living kitchen dining room. It's obviously kind of simple in this living space because it's just one big square. So I don't know if that's gonna be an issue for us, but we'll see what we can do. I was kind of envisioning a living room set up sort of like this, and I thought the kitchen might wrap around kind of that corner. If we have 
have to do a smaller living room, that is also fine. Like we have a lot of room to work with this. But then dining table sort of in the corner, that's plenty of walking space. I'm just gonna quick try to pay for everything that we need because I'm getting a little bit worried about funds. I would have liked to have had more stuff from Get Famous in here, but the only problem is that Get Famous is kind of expensive. So when you try and start using it for a build like this, you run out of budget fast. Like if I look through everything, this bed, 1400 simoleons. Even these chairs are 100 simoleons each and those are probably our best bet. I can definitely use the rug too, but probably not things like the, oh my God. <laughs> Probably not things like this sofa or like this 5,000 simoleon golden toilet. Like I don't really think that's in the budget for us today. Ooh, this is a cute little cabinet. That's only 200. I can use the coffee table cause it's only 120. And I can maybe use that little table there too. I guess it kind of has a little bit of a mid-century furniture vibe. Ooh, I really like that painting. Maybe we could do some green. I guess like a green and gray. Thing. Why are these chairs gray if nothing else is gray? Oh my god. Do you actually not match like anything? Ooh, you know what? That color's kind of cool. I think that we can try to make that work. There is flooring from Get Famous, but the flooring's a little, um, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> kind of destroyed, I guess you could say. It's called the Wild West Wood, but it's like very scratched up. I don't really want it to be like that. I may do carpet in the bedrooms. Oh no, I'm using way too expensive cabinetry. <laughs> Uh-oh. We absolutely cannot afford to be using stuff like that. It just looks so good though. Considering I am sat here having not even painted the walls, I need to be like toning this down a little. I don't even have a front door. Like Kayla, you need to calm down a little bit. <laughs> You're taking this one a little bit too far. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking for the general shape. I've built stuff like this quite a bit, especially when I build here on this lot. Like there's only so much you can really do. I want to think about the outside a little bit more because I'm getting kind of excited about the exterior. I would really like to have a fence. I don't remember if Get Famous even has a fence, but I pulled up the Get Famous debug. Oh my God, look at this. It's only 80 simoleons for like kind of a fancy movie poster thing. I wonder if we could use that somewhere. That's actually cool. Oh my God. <laughs> that is a massive wall of ivy. I forgot that was there. Oh, you know what we could maybe even do? I wonder if I could put a house next door to us. <laughs> like what if I put a fake house right there? Of course it's kind of big, but if we go, oh, it's floating. Okay, maybe not. I was gonna say, if we got like a little fake house and we stuck it next door, it would fill in the lot. They just look kind of weird and like textureless, if that makes sense. You know what else I really cannot afford? offense and yet I paid for it anyway because it just looks so cool having like a proper backyard all filled out it looks really good I think the get famous windows are quite cheap 35 yeah okay even the big ones are only 65 so we can definitely work with that I hate that door I just think that's so bad I don't know what to use though I really don't want to use that one I don't think that works the get famous one I'd actually be kind of tempted to do like I don't know one of the horse ranch ones I'm just looking for a bigger door that maybe has some more glass to it actually speaking of which a slide Sliding glass door is probably really good to put onto this little patio. I want something like that even. <laughs> this is from Movie Hangout. That's super random though, right? It has cottage energy. You know, this door might be the best course of action. I hate to admit it, but it is a good one and it kind of matches everything. These are the columns that come with Get Famous. I just don't know if I can bring myself to use them. I hate the texture of them. I think I might use the growing together ones instead. Whoa, that is expensive. Maybe not. No, Kayla, you said that you were gonna build a Get Famous starter home. So you're gonna commit and you're gonna build a Get Famous starter home. We are currently having a bit of a, a monetary situation, <laughs> as some may say. I only have $700 left and I was supposed to furnish all of the rest of it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's think that through a bit more. What can I steal to get some extra money? Maybe I can delete that part. That saves us a bit of money. Oh, all of this interior stuff is like saved for later though. I guess a couple things could be gotten rid of. A couple pieces of furniture. So that gives us a little bit of extra money. We do still need a door to the garage and we also still have to paint everything. Let me just pay for like whatever kind of paint because then I know that we've at least paid for it. So we've got it ready. Okay, this is what I've got so far in the garage. It's very simple, but it at least has space. <laughs> And that's all that matters right now. Uh-oh, okay, so we are officially completely out of money. I did buy all the necessities. We have a trash can and everything. Oh no, I'm missing some wallpaper. Oh 
my God. We're even worse off than I thought. I think, listen, listen. I think that because it's a three bedroom starter home, it can be like a little bit more than 20,000. What if it was 22,000? Cause I feel like I can make this work with 22,000. There is simply a tiny bit more that I would like to be able to do. Things like columns, maybe some outdoor lights, a little bit more furniture. <laughs> These columns are a huge waste, oh my God. But see, with that little bit of extra money, I even got lights next to the door. We can do this, we can do this. So Get Famous doesn't have that many wallpaper options. I guess if we wanted to, we could try to use like the little small bricks that it comes with. I'm not really feeling that though. I don't think that that's the best idea. What I do think is maybe a more interesting concept would be to potentially use some of the shingles as like an extra texture. Cause I can put shingles on some of the roof pieces. Oh my God, all of a sudden it's blue. Why is everything always a blue suburban? I swear I did not set out for this to happen. I don't really like the shingle colors that come with the pack though. They kind of have like a dark green. I think the gray is better. That's nice though, right? And then if we had like a cute brick foundation that gives us some more color to it. I'm sorry, it's a blue suburban. <laughs> I swear when I did this build, the goal was like, oh, it'll be a starter home, but like it won't be one of my usual builds. It's gonna be so interesting and different. And then I built a blue suburban, but it's not just any old blue suburban, okay? It's a get famous blue suburban. So it's different. I'm spending like 16 simoleons here and there to put little tiny bits of trim, which might not be worth it, but I do think that it looks good. So I'm gonna try and make it work. And then I think on the roof, I might just do some black regular shingles. Okay, I feel like that could be the full exterior done for now. There's a couple other things that we need. For example, I'm gonna put a car. I am warning you right now, this is not a real car, okay? Oh, uh, there is no such thing as that in The Sims 4. These are like little fake debug cars, kind of like how, let's see, does anybody else have one? Kind of like those cars. They make some fake cars just to exist in the environment and you can access them through debug cheats. They don't do anything. Your Sim can't even click on them, but they do look cool and they're kind of just like there. <laughs> but they're helpful, I think, for stuff like this because we really want there to be a slightly more interesting front yard and I want to put some stuff in the garage and I can't afford anything to put in the garage. So it's like a good compromise, I guess, to put a fake car in there. What I would like to do is put like a woodworking table and a bunch of stuff like that. We just can't afford it with a starter home. So we have to make do. Now this table only costs 115 and that is the spirit. I think that is fantastic. <laughs> so we have a little bit of furniture outside too. Let's go back and sort of rethink the interior again, because one issue that we're facing is that we cannot afford to have any sort of computer or TV <laughs> or anything like that that might prove itself to be useful. So not really thriving there. Wish that we had a little bit more money, but we do what we can. I had used a kind of expensive dresser. That one is 535. This one's only 439. So we could probably put that in. Although then the next goal would be to have a desk. <laughs> we can't really afford that, can we? No, we can have a desk and nothing else apparently. Oh my God. Okay, well, what else can I do to save a little bit of money? Maybe this kid has no desk. Dresser's a bit smaller, so I can put a dresser in there. 110 simoleons for this little rug. Oh my God, that is cruel. I wanna use the dinosaur plushie. I don't think that we can afford it. This thing's 185. Why? Why? Sorry, you're getting blarfy. Oh, I didn't pay for flooring in the bathroom either. How about a frog? We can get a frog. That's really cheap. 10 simoleons for a leaf frog. I really did go kind of pricey on the interior, didn't I? I don't even think it looks that good. Like I'm not even really sure if the color scheme is nice. No, that actually is kind of cute. I'm sorry, I take it back. It does look nice. We just can't have a TV, but I don't even really think that that's too big of an issue. Normally I try really hard to get a TV in every single one of my starter homes, at least a TV or a computer. But in this case, this house has other things going for it because it has the garage and all this outdoor space. So I feel like maybe we can say that that makes up for it. What's the cheapest toy? This thing is 20 simoleons. Oh my God. They can have a little tiny car. <laughs> You get one thing to play with, kid. There you go. Oh, you know what? I'm actually kind of wondering if it would be better for us to rethink the kitchen. Maybe I should put it only on the back wall like this, and then we can still have a couple of cabinets. This does make it so that we have less space to decorate. Like we can't put any decor on a kitchen counter and have it still be functional. But sometimes that just has to be okay. Cause like we can't really even afford decor anyway. <laughs> so it's fine. If we're being really bold and brave, there is a little debug TV. That to me is kind of like, on another level of desperation though. What, 120? 
Oh my God. Cause that TV is literally out of the trash. <laughs> it is the trash TV. So in my mind, if we resort to using that, then we have hit like rock bottom with this. But in a way we kind of have, and I'd rather have it than have nothing. Plus then it at least looks like there's some furniture on top of that little table. <laughs> so that's probably a good thing too. Maybe I could use this cute little movie poster item inside of the kitchen. Yikes. This wall kind of makes me sad. I don't really know what to do with it. I guess a cork board is fine. Maybe I could move the plant over too. You know what? This is not the worst thing in the world. It's small and it's not great, <laughs> but it's got potential, okay? I'm gonna save the rest of that for a second and I'm gonna go look through some debug landscaping now. We are gonna have to work some magic to have this start being okay because what we are looking at right now is like a complete disaster. So in Get Together debug, they have a couple of these nice little tiny bushes. I'm gonna have to remove the foundation for a second and I'm really sorry about that, but I think those little hedge bushes are kind of nice to line the side of the building and they're free. So that's kind of a huge bonus too but I think I'll just go around and put those down the sides, sort of like that. I may even like to put a little bit of it inside of the backyard. I didn't give them a walkway or like any sort of staircase to get down from here, which maybe I should have done, I don't know. Stairs are just expensive, like I can't really afford them, so I'm trying to make it work without them. I am now trying to do some really strategically placed plants, kind of trying to envision what would happen if this were real. I'm gonna use some of the red flowers. I have to like unlearn my regular land landscaping methods a little bit, but I think putting a couple of clusters of bushes around like that is maybe for the best. I feel like if you do it simple on purpose, then it kind of seems like it's all okay. This was intentional. I didn't want to have a lot of plants. That was the goal. <laughs> oh my god. These trees are so big. Doesn't that seem really unnecessary to you? I wanted to put a couple of them in because I was hoping to like fill in some of the space, but if you just don't look that closely at them, maybe it's okay. Don't, don't zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Don't zoom into those, all right? There's a couple other things like a thermostat, which I think is maybe an absolute necessity. So I probably should go back in and get one of those. It's 125 though. And then I think I'll put the trash can just kind of by the front of the garage door. I would actually really like to replace the concrete outside with something a little bit nicer, but I can't afford to. We might want a little tiny trash can indoors. And then I think having a plant or something, even something small, like just a little plant on the desk would probably help to both the kids have a frog? Maybe they could have two different frogs. They each have a pet frog. Frogs are good because they're cheap. Oh, and I can use the debug rug. This one, I don't love that it's black. I may even rethink the color scheme in here a little bit just so I can use that rug. Nothing really has a lot of purple to it, but that's better, right? It's just a kid's room. It can be kind of chaotic. I'm literally scouring this place trying to think where I can spend an extra 20 simoleons. <laughs> We do have a little tiny plant that costs 20. An extra plant's maybe a good thing. And that might be the best that we can do with the whole build. I'm gonna go through and put some terrain paint down. Some of the plants that come from Debug almost look like they have dirt under them already. You can kind of see underneath that tree too. So we don't really have to put it everywhere, but it's good to put it in some places. I'm actually gonna try and put a little bit of dirt underneath the driveway too. Cause I think that's a good way to help make it blend in a little bit. And then I'm wondering about maybe trying to make a cute little pathway. We can't really afford forward much out here. So putting a swoopy little path fills up the backyard. And then I guess if you played in this house, one of the good things about this place, yes, it's kind of empty, but it is long-term easily improvable. Like if you played here and your sim was an artist, they could put their art studio and their easel in the garage. If your sim was a scientist, they could have all their science stuff in the garage. You can totally upgrade the beds and the kitchen. You can move to put some extra counters along this wall as you get some more money. You can buy a bathtub. So there's a lot of things that you could do when playing here to improve. It, which I think is the best thing that you could find in a starter home. I've got zero simoleons left, so I can't do anything else. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the gallery called Del Sol Valley Starter. It's a three bed, one bath house, and I'm just gonna give up and upload it. <laughs> I did what I could. The wheel forced me to build in Del Sol Valley, and you know what? I don't think it's terrible. I used quite a few packs, which maybe, oh my God, please upload. <gasps> I didn't say, no, 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 okay. <sighs> Oh my God, the gallery, it just, it's like scary every time. I'll save now. But I never build here. So I think it's a good thing that the wheel tried to make me do it. Maybe if we try this wheel thing again, we can spin for budget as well and sort of like add that into the mix. I'll be curious to know what you all thought of this video. It's a lot of packs, but it's not that many packs. It's mostly expansion packs that I use. So I didn't have like a million kits in there or anything. And you do need to have a couple Sims if you wanted to buy it because it's slightly more expensive than a regular starter home. But I think on that, 
that note, I am gonna end this video right here. I wanted to quickly remind you all that I'm actually doing a charity fundraiser on Saturday over on my Twitch channel. We're gonna be fundraising for the National Center for Transgender Equality. I'll link our little fundraising page down below if you would like to donate, but please don't feel like you have to. I just wanted to mention it in case you wanted to come by because the stream should be kind of fun. We're gonna be doing some townhouses that are trans pride flag colored. The Twitch chat is all very excited about this already, so I thought a lot of you might be excited too. So I'll link my stream down below too. That's gonna be on Saturday, March 30th. And with that, I will actually go and I will catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. You know what? In the comments, let me know what is your least favorite Sims 4 world and why? Because the things that I hate, you might love. Like we all have different opinions on this. So I'm so curious about your thoughts.